The center of excellence is abuzz with activity. Caribbean Airlines is on day two of its three-day career fair. I think it's a good opportunity for students, especially if they're not sure about what they want to do in the future. There's no rain in the forecast as young forecaster Rain Bowman keeps herself occupied at our CCN booth. Went to a really informative workshop about AI and how Trinidadians are actually leveraging AI. Because, you know, I was thinking, you know, you know, we're kind of third world, we're a little behind, but no, we actually have firms in Trinidad that do utilize that first world technology we see all the time and are actively um, helping Trinidadians decentralize the word he used dispersing technology to all communities in the island. Thousands of students made this place look like a jungle. But Malabar Secondary's safari assures us there was no monkeying around. I think that it's a good opportunity for young teenagers who is now going to finish school and think about a career, what they want to do in life. And I think it's a good idea learning about different stuff from different like, places. This trio from Coryell Secondary School also tried their hand at our teleprompter, sharing some of what their day entailed. I don't know about some animals. What did you learn? Me, I learned about the, the programs going on in MIC and also the agriculture. They welcome today's opportunity to have a peek into the world of work. Well, it could inspire them to do food I life, like they might see something they like, and they might get into it more of us. Um, I think, look for instance, like me, I'm not too sure what career path I want to go to, so this could be a good opportunity to bring some clarity to, to their minds and stuff like that. And how about some inspiration to other young men navigating the throes of adolescence? Just stay positive, you know, do the correct thing at the end of the day, yeah, and just live life by a positive way. Our camera seemed to be a magnet for young people eager to share. I wanted to be a flight attendant, so this was a good experience for me to come out and see how it's about, see certain things about it. Yeah. How do you feel now that you've been here? I feel good, I feel more experienced, and I feel like I can make it. For some, today's exercise may have simply been a forum for getting out and interacting in a positive way. Coming here today has really pushed us to be out there more and be more interactive. More interactive, learn to communicate. Yes, and learn to be friendly and talkative with your peers and children from other schools. For some, it was about learning life skills. It speaks about mental health awareness and those kind of stuff. And as a person who wants to study psychology in the future, it was very beneficial to me. And for others, it was definitely about finding a career path or even an option B. Growing up, I was wanting to be a footballer, but the law in football didn't work out. What else would I get into? So. But now I saw it at a Coast Guard service, and you know, I think I would like to get into any one of the services. The football will look out for me. You know, that would be a good part to go you know, protecting and saving. Or maybe when you're from a marginalized geographical location or school, today offered an opportunity to change the narrative. Yeah, everybody say we school is a bad school. You know, change it, come and visit the school, see what we bring, all we sports and things. We try to change the name, try to be better at the school. Center of Excellence was a venue to catch up with a celebrity or two. Take this familiar face, for instance, a driving force behind the event, which proves to have a little of something for everyone. The future is here. We are engaging with the future of Trinidad and Tobago and by extension the region. Education is one of the pillars of Caribbean Airlines sustainability program. We have education, community and wellness. And while the focus here is education, it's also about community. The career fair saw participation from all the secondary schools in Tobago. Students and staffers were flown in by the national airline itself. We expect an excess of 8,000 students over the three-day period 
from 99 schools. I suspect by the time I count tomorrow, there will be more than 99 schools because we yes, there were some late registrations. With scores of the country's top employers under one roof, Lagor tells us, Cal's main aim is to ensure students take away a positive experience that will be memorable for the rest of their lives. Because you never know the kind of impact you can have on somebody's life, positive or negative, but the aim is for us to have a positive influence on these children. Let them know that you can aspire. Let them know what is available, what is out there, so that they can plan and live fulfilling lives and become good citizens of Trinidad and Tobago and the region. Each year's event seems to top the last, and Lagor tells us she has a major trump card for 2025 with a focus always on young minds. Orvashi Tawari, Rupnarayan, TV6 News.